Hello, everybody. Either I'm recording this on Wednesday. This is going out on Saturday. The beta for FM23 may have been released. The expectation is it's just electric here on Wednesday. Stuff going around. Every time my phone flicks up a Twitter message, I check to see that it's not somebody saying the beta's gone live. By Saturday, you may well know whether we've gone live on FM23 or not, and you may be able to see the series and the team that we are managing through the beta. But we have to complete this series, and it's getting really exciting as well. So FM22 can go out with a bang here on the channel because to be a legend with Bristol City, we are down to the final three games of the season. And we're on the precipice of A, being promoted, and B, becoming champions. We could have two games in today's episode, or there again, it may take three games. We're about to find out. Welcome to Be A Legend. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have, as I said at the uh, outset, is we have for you maybe one, maybe two, maybe three games. So we're not going to mess around. We're going to get on with it as quickly as we can. Uh, you can see the table here, uh, but what I should have done was gone over here first because uh, you were last with us for Norwich and Blackpool, I believe. 3-1 loss at Norwich, um, and then a 5-1 uh, win against Blackpool. Rather satisfying, I know. Um, but then we had uh, a 2-1 win against Middlesbrough. That game was really, really annoying because um, it wasn't until four minutes of injury time. It was 1-1 in that game. Um we took the lead through Dele Basharu after 44 minutes. Uh, Teresa John Jules equalised 12 minutes later on 56 minutes. And it, as I say, it wasn't really until four minutes into injury time that Nathan Young Coombs, who come on as a substitute, put the ball in the back of the net uh, to give us a very slight win. 17 shots, only five of which were on target, 1.82. They had nine shots and had five on target. Master that, most of that, in the second half. As you'll see, the first half was very flat. And then they came on in that second half, really pummeled us as we slowed down. They gained momentum and, um, yeah, we just managed to uh, scrape that one through. But then um, against Queen's Park Rangers, we looked like uh, after 32 minutes, again, that man, Nathan Young Coombs, putting us in front. Um, and really, we had this pretty much put to bed. We got down to the dying embers of the game. We did our usual trick. We went to a balanced, dropped a de uh, defensive midfielder um, to see the game out. And for once, it didn't work because uh, Matteo Pellegrino, who we keep in one eye on, uh, scored a minute into injury time to make it 1-1. It was too late to do anything responsive to it. Um, it pretty much killed the game off as far as we're concerned. As you'll see, 11 shots, 6 on target. 1.04 for, for for the last couple of games. We've not been on top for XG, on top for possession. Um, Shots-wise, not too bad. Uh, shots on target, better this time than we were last time. Um, we've got our 50%, um, but uh, it wasn't enough. So uh, I think a little bit of nerves, it feels like, creeping in. We were lucky against Middlesbrough, but uh, couldn't make that... Uh, jaunt against Queen's Park Rangers. I did record it just in case we managed to secure the three points uh, that uh, gave us the win and the time, a uh, half time in that game when we were one up. Uh, West Brom were losing and Nottingham Forest were losing. So uh, but they both won. Uh, in fact, they didn't both win. Um, Nottingham Forest won against Swansea and West Brom drew, I think, in that round of games. In fact, we will double check in a moment. Uh, but... Uh, that leaves the table looking like this. 
which leads us into to today into to do need to get that right into today's games and um we are top on 95 points um lost six games so far norwich a bit of done the double overs Coventry, millwall bournemouth and nottingham forest um as i say 95 points six points ahead of nottingham forest in second on 89 points um and the point to note here is there are nine points available so they could still pass us uh, but the other key element is in in our promotion be nice to go up as champions but uh, in our promotion the team that we play today are exactly nine points behind us um, goal difference substantially more they would have to get something like 22 goals between now and the end of the season 22 goals in three games in order to overhaul us and that's if we completely blew up um so to today's game is it really really significant in two factors is one if we can beat west brom we are guaranteed that um that top spot and also i think pretty much if we can win today regardless of what nottingham forest do we will almost certainly apart from mathematically uh be champions as well so we need two points from this one point from our next game so really is how we're going to do the three games which is another reason why we must clatter on uh in today's episode not chat too much uh because we potentially will have three matches for you so let's get underway let's get into it and it's that first game up against west brom six pointer but not only a six pointer it could be one promotion two championship The other thing we do have home advantage for this one. Not that means anything, but uh, it just hopefully gives us that little bit of edge. Uh, Bentley is in goal. Pring, Nelson, Phillips, and Roberts are back line. Um, Della Bacheru and Williams continue in midfield. Rogers, Freeman, and Gordon are, are attacking midfield. Ryan Green continues up front. Got a good working relationship with Freeman now. And on the bench, Schneller, Zarate, Masengo. Young Coombs, Fernandez, Viner, and Jana. Can we do it? Let's find out. And here we are at Ashton Gate, underway in this one. It looks like West Brom have had an early shot. Uh, we've had two shots, two shots on target. And we have a throw in on the far side. Roberts throws to Katie Gordon. Katie Gordon. Deli Bacharou, Freeman, gone all the way back to Phillips. Deli Bacharou, looking for a way through. Rogers, Green, Ryan Green, through to Rogers, who flashes that over the top. Says it skimmed the, the bar, but I question whether it did or not. Phillips heading it back to Bentley in the City goal. Nelson, Phillips, back to Nelson. If you'd like to see me at some point uh, in the 23 iteration of uh, Football Manager, if you'd like to see me manage Bristol City again, of course, my team that I follow, then uh, leave a comment for me. I will do so for all you City fans. It's not somebody that, apart from when I used to, oh, and Ryan Green, he scores. He's 16th of the season. Is it... 21 minutes on the clock sorry i was chatting away there yeah it's not something uh apart since i've contact content created i've actually managed them um it's just that i got offered the job while we were doing the uh bottom to the top series this year and um i didn't want to, i wanted to carry on with farsley celtic because that's not really a journeyman type thing um so i thought uh, i would do a separate uh, series but uh this uh fm 23 I do feel that I would like to do a um, a manage Bristol City, so uh, it might be something that we do alongside one of our. Uh, I think we're due a journeyman this year, so uh, it would be something like to be a legend. But uh, we'll have a Bristol City series as well, possibly. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you would like to see me do. Anyway, that 
Let's get on with the game. Deli Basharu out to Pring. Pring out wide, tries to get around his man. He's managed to pull it back to Deli Basharu, who's having a good game. Gordon! What a bullet header that was. His ninth goal of the season. And uh, I think we've secured him for next season and uh, with good calls as well. What a header that was. Deli Basharu fires it across and... Gordon just stoops to get his head to it. And it's buried in the corner of the net. 2-0. And that is the scoreline at half time. The only thing to mention on this is we've been here before. And uh, it's all gone Pete Tong. And uh, gone a bit pear-shaped. So we're, we're not going to count our chickens. Uh, Nottingham Forest are winning. Uh, they are beating Queen's Park Rangers, who we couldn't seem to beat. 2-0 at the current stage. Um, we would be promoted as it currently stands because obviously West Brom are the team in third place and uh, this has opened the gap up. Uh, we would be promoted, so guaranteed Premier League football next season. Uh, question mark still hanging over whether we would be champions. Um, to be fair, they would have to score a lot of goals in their last two games in order to um, rule that out. Um, but... Um, Yeah, another point after this one would actually see us through as champions. Deli Basharu having a great game so far. So 10 shots, six of which on target, 1.24 on the XG. That's better. West Brom, four shots, three on target, 0.22. So uh, as I say, we won't count our chickens yet. We could do with a couple more goals probably. No changes at half time that I'm aware of. And Moet picks up the ball. From an early attack, and uh, they've got it out wide. And he's through. He's gone around all the players. Bentley making a fantastic save. What the heck was going on there? Braff. Jaden Braff. Giving us the run round there for sure. And it was only Bentley that kept us in the game. He's going to take the corner now. Braff, it's going to be an outswinger. And it's gone over the top. And gone out for a throw. Nobody making contact with that. A lovely ball from Mowit to Braff. But it was this. Went round that defender. Who's that? Phillips should have really got a tackle in there. And then he just comes back inside. And uh, Bentley had got out far enough and uh, managed to... Uh, Put the block in, which was good news. Nottingham Forest still beating QPR by two goals to nil. 65 minutes on the clock. And uh, I get the feeling he's going to launch a long one here. And it's cut out. But Dele Basharu tidies up in midfield. Rogers. Rogers has a shot. Ooh. Either the goalkeeper knew that was going wide or he missed timed it and he was lucky. One of the two. And well tackled there. Who tackled that? That's a good tackle by Williams. And it's gone through to Dele Basharu. Ryan Green. First touch was a bit heavy, but he's gone out wide. Can he cross it in? He can. Dele Basharu. Eighth goal of the season. 3 0. I think that's pretty much, unless West, Ham, uh, West Brom come back. I said West Ham, didn't I? West Brom come back with um, a real. For Roar, looking for a word to describe it there. Then I think we have secured a promotion. Throw in on that far side. Roberts throws it in. Pring. Pring to Freeman. Freeman finds Williams. Williams! It almost looked like that took a diversion. Whether it did off of the, uh, off of the post or what, I don't know. It's not come up on the woodwork uh, thing. Right, they've made a couple of changes. And I think it would be wise. Defensive right, uh, defensive central dyke has gone off. So we're going to bring. We'll do those changes. Luke Freeman looks like he's tired. And we're nearly 
time to make some changes. And it is time now. Right. Morgan Rogers is tied. Sako Jana coming on for him. Right, we usually move Della Basharu into that position. Luke Freeman can come off. And Zarate has been coming on, but Masengo is my uh, assistant, is telling me is the best player to do that. So we will bring him on, give him a run out. Luke Freeman, a 7.2. Two zero. Finger, go out and make me proud. Masengo is complacent because he hasn't played a lot just recently. It's the fifth minute, and we might make one more change. Zazi. Zazi is the player it's telling me to change. Nottingham Forest still 2 0 up against Queen's Park Rangers, so nothing changes at the top. And we've got one final change to make. Roberts will miss the next match because he's picked up a yellow card and he was on the limit. In fact, he might miss the next two games. Zach Viner is going to come on for Phillips. That's our final change. And we're not going to fiddle around with the formation. Bit us in the bum last time. Roberts with the corner. Oof. It's run along the crossbar and goes out. We did hit the woodwork earlier. So uh, showing two up. It's a good win. It is promotion, I feel sure. Goals from Ryan Green after 21. Katie Gordon a minute into injury time. And Dele Tom Delabashiro after 68 minutes. A comprehensive win. 21 shots, 9 on target. Nearly 50%. 2.79. On the XG, 59% possession against their nine shots, five on target, 0 0.90. Uh, a good win against West Brom. Question being is, have we got promoted? And there we go. We have been promoted uh, to the Premier League. A 3-0 win against our um, West Bromwich Albion. Um, Nottingham Forest, 3-0 winners in the end against Queen's Park Rangers. So they equaled us for goals. Uh, so it pretty much stays the same at the top. Nottingham Forest, um, all but promoted. Um, they're not mathematically there yet, albeit uh, with six points to play for. They are pretty much there. Um, one more point for them. We'll see them through. One more point for us. We'll see us promoted as champions. So uh, it will come down to the Birmingham game, which we will uh, move on very quickly and go through to because uh, that now becomes the important game. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, I'll do all the uh, necessary bits in just a moment. Um, Birmingham then, we need one point. We're away from home at um, Birmingham at the St. Andrews. Uh, recent history. Uh, played them in the FA Cup third round. Lost 3-1 last time out. So that doesn't bode well, does it? Previous to that, we played them three times at Ashton Gate including an EFL third round where we beat them 1-0. Uh, championship 2-0, um, having lost the other game. Uh, so on current uh, thing, we've uh, played nine, played them nine times, won five, lost three. So uh, let's hope we can do the business. Um, our record at uh, St. Andrews, we haven't won there since uh, 2021 by the looks of it. Um, 2-1 loss in 23, um, a 1-1 loss uh, start of last season. And as I say, in the FA Cup third round, we lost 3-1. So it's going to be a bit of a tall order, but it's just one point we need.
And here we are, the team that will face Birmingham at St Andrews for what could be the championship winning uh, team. Already promoted, <clears throat> just needing that one point in order to uh, deliver um, the uh, champions uh, title. And uh, this is the side that do it. We've held a team meeting, so everybody's uh, pumped up, ready to go. Bentley and goal then. Pring, Nelson, Phillips, Viner coming in for Connor Roberts, who's, uh, of course, suspended and suspended for two games. So his, his season is over. Uh, Dele Basharu and Williams in front of them, as has been for the last couple of games. Rogers, Freeman and Gordon. So not much changing on this side. A winning side and a side that's uh, won the championship is sticking together. Green continues up front. Schneller. Uh, Zarate, Masango, Young Coombs, Fernandez, Semenyo's back in the uh, um, squad, and Jenna are all on the bench for this one. And if we do win this, uh, I think we might have a little bit of a change around for the final game of the season. I think we'll give uh, Schneller a run out and uh, some of the other players as well. Let's see uh, what we can do against Birmingham then. And, of course, televised match being a decider. Birmingham, Mark Hughes is manager. They've lost two of their last five. Won two, drawn one. Uh, we've won three of our last five. Lost one and drawn one. And that's how the table looks going into this one. Those six points at the top of the table. With six points on the table to win. A win here. Or a point would secure the championship. And uh, that ball headed on to Bentley. Two minutes on the clock. Viner, Gordon inside to Williams. Phillips. Phillips back to Bentley. Bentley back to Phillips. If we try and build again, Freeman, who's dropped a bit deeper. Phillips going all the way back to Bentley. Bentley to Nelson this time. Swings it out to Pring. Be good to get in our own in their half, which we have. Prings come forward through to Rogers. Rogers now on the edge of the box. Screen. 17th goal of the season. And with just four minutes on the clock, we go one up. A long way to go, I know. But uh, it's good to see Ryan Green getting on that uh, score sheet. Squeezed it in the near post. I like from kickoff, Jonathan Lecco, ex Bristol City player. Didn't play for us for very long, but uh, I think he was on loan, if I remember rightly. I can check that out in a bit. Wood over the top to Martin and Martin. Josh Martin gets his first goal of the season and an equaliser after two more, well, a minute really. I think it's more like five minutes on the clock, but uh, literally they've got one back straight away. Over the top, hit first time on the volley. Question of whether he was offside, I think. Ooh, questionable. Very questionable. Premier League VAR, I think that would have been discounted somehow. Um, right. Never trigger press. Jonathan Lecco, we're going to go in hard on. And up the ante here. Josh Martin, I think we need to sort him out. For sure. We'll input those changes. At the minute, that one point is there. And Nottingham Forest. I'm not quite sure what's happening in Nottingham Forest game. Where is it? They're playing West Brom and West Brom doing us a favour because at the end of the day, West Brom do need to cut that deficit. And at the moment, they're playing Nottingham Forest and cut the deficit to three points, which means they're still in with a chance on the final day of the season of securing promotion. So they will be going all guns blazing against Nottingham Forest. Our lead at the top is seven points, which means we are champions as it stands. Green, Williams, 
Out wide to Rogers. Rogers, nice control. Inside to Dele Basharu. Dele Basharu to Pring, who's got himself in a lovely position. It's green again with his 18th goal of the season. KD Gordon uh, getting a bit of a tangled Timman. Be interesting to see if that would have been a penalty had it um, had it not fallen to Green, but Green puts it away, and we go two one up. Dele Basharu through to Pring here. Pring crosses it. No, I think Timian probably beat Gordon actually as it was. Wasn't a penalty for my book, but anyway, doesn't matter. Hundred and one points at the moment. We've broken records if we uh, keep this up. They have a free kick. Uh... Oh, it's come back off the post. Pring to Bentley. Bentley fires it forward to Freeman. And we are on the counter now. Freeman, he's uh, gone out wide. Freeman's tackled on that far side there. And uh, saved by the post. As half time looms, maybe one more chance before half time. Headed down, and Martin, who's been a bit of a thorn in our side, picks that ball up. I need to check him out. And uh, he's running with abeyance here. Martin is in. He's trying to get it past Bentley, but it was a bit of a soft shot in the end, and half time arrives. Uh, two goals from Ryan Green, then four minutes and 26 minutes. Uh, Josh Martin getting one back literally a minute after Ryan Green's first goal. But managed to put it to rights um, as we uh, wore on in that uh, first half. Nine shots, four on target, 1.04 on the XG. 65% possession, which is absolutely fantastic. They've had four shots, two of which are on target, one of them being the goal. And that one that you've just seen there, 35% uh, possession. Uh, we're one foot there, guys. We need to get the other foot. Underway for this second half, and uh, not much doing at half time. If we just pause at a second, West Brom equal equalised against Nottingham Forest. Now it's one-one in that game, and uh, in a way, doing us. Favour either way. And uh, Madja, he's been scoring for Will for Nottingham Forest this season. We have a corner. Williams with the corner. Swings it in. Connor Roberts, our usual uh, corner taker, not there. Bakuna on this wing. And uh, they come forward. But Pring is there. Tidies up. Inside to Nelson. Back to Pring. Pring now. He's going to get picked. Oh, and it's 2-2. Uh, two, two. Bring getting pickpocketed there. Really should have got rid of it. He had the chance. A player in front of him, look. He had Freeman available. He had Dele Basharu was available. And... Not good enough. Really not good enough. Um, right, we're going attacking because we need to try and... Or do we just hang on? I think we try and stick with it. Let's just check opposition instructions. They brought on some players and that Zohoi is the one that's caused us the problem Mark Harris is the player that's gone off Jordan James in midfield come on I don't think that's going to cause us a problem at the moment we'll stick with that As we go past the 75 minute mark, see if we need to make any changes. Nobody there on the radar at the moment. Luke Freeman probably isn't having the best of games. And 
Tell me to bring Masengo on for him, which we'll do. And he is motivated, which is good news. As it stands, we are still champions. Unless Nottingham Forest get one back, time is nearly up. And I'm tempted to go attacking for the last few minutes. Morgan Rogers is tired. I'm going to bring some menu on on that side. Just to do a bit of a tweak. I wonder if we do this. Or go as a. Put him on as a poacher. Masengo can drop into that slot. Dele Basharu can go out wide. Just going to try and give that and hope that we don't lose it. Let's see. Four minutes of injury time left in it. But it is a draw. It's all over. It's a 2 2 draw against Birmingham. Better than a loss. Better than a loss. Uh, 16 shots, four on target, so nowhere near half. 1.62, 64 percent possession. They had nine shots, three on target. Target 0.57. Question is, is it enough to win the championship? Let's find out. And by virtue of a Nottingham Forest and West Brom playing out a one-one draw, we have picked up that one point, which gets us to the title. Unfortunately, points-wise, we're not going to make that. Uh, Target, I think we could do if we win the next game, 102 points for the season would be uh, good. We've equaled uh, our um, our result, but uh, we also need one one win would actually see us through um, to um, the to the, the uh, record with regards to the number of wins as well. Is what I was trying to say. Um, but Nottingham Forest have secured promotion. Um, from West Brom, that draw, 1-1 one, one draw is not what West Brom wanted with three points to play. West Brom can't catch them. They can't catch us because we're still six points in front of them. So we have clinched the title and we are going to have a look at the Swansea game. It's going to be a long episode, but we will have the Swansea game coming up next just because I want to see if we can achieve those records or not. So um, let's uh, let's go through then and uh, get straight in to the Swansea game. Well, some days have passed since we won the championship, and it's a home game against Swansea, our final game of the season. Schneller makes his debut in goal. Pring, Nelson, Phillips and Viner in front of him. Delabasharu and Williams in central midfield. Rogers, Freeman and Gordon continue in that attacking midfield. Green up front, so no changes there. Bentley is on the bench. Zarate, Masango, Young Coombs, Fernandez, Semenyo, and Jenna. Zarate has refused to renew his loan. So he is uh, on the bench today, but will theoretically be his final game for us if he makes uh, it onto the pitch. <clears throat> so uh, we say goodbye to him. Um, we did look at possibly buying him. Uh, we had a five pound, uh, five million pound claws on him but um we find out that uh he is uh he's, he's not qualifying for the work permit so uh he wouldn't get a work permit which seems very bizarre as we're in the uh, premier league but uh there you go right that's the team then that will face swansea for this one just to say that in the seven games that we've played against swansea we've only beaten them once And we're underway here at Ashton Gate. The final game of the season. Nothing really to play for. 
in as much as it's all uh, done and dealt. So it looks like uh, Nottingham Forest are in the lead. Swansea. Oh, Schneller saved it. And um, it's been cancelled out. Must be an offside there. In fact, he was. Look at that. Cooper. But uh, Schneller playing it straight into their path. Viner then throws it to Freeman. Back to Viner. Viner crosses it deep for Rogers. Morgan Rogers gets his ninth goal of the season. And with 14 minutes on the clock, we go one up. Lovely worked move. Viner with the cross deep. Found Rogers, and uh, just planted it in the back of the net. Good stuff. West Brom are leading at Cardiff. Nottingham Forest leading at Stoke. So all playing for West Brom, of course, have to win. In fact, I don't think they can uh, be promoted. We were already worked that one out, I think, hadn't we? Cooper plays to Downs. Grimes. It's cut out by Katie Gordon. Katie Gordon is in. He's not got the support there at the moment. He's got to hold the ball up. Crosses it deep for Rogers. Rogers looking to get a bit of a room there. Pring. Williams. Deli Basharu. Pring. Viner. Shoots it over the top. Free kick on that far side. Freeman with a free kick. It's headed clear. Katie Gordon gets there. Pring. Pring crosses it in for Williams, who heads it just wide. Williams, of course, up for the free kick. West Brom two up now against Cardiff. Nottingham Forest one up against Stoke. Nelson. To Phillips, back to Nelson, and Nelson gives the ball away, and uh, that's not good, but it's cut out by Freeman, who was travelling back there. Williams punts that one forward, nobody there. Just glad to get rid of it, I think. Della Basharu heads it down to Rogers. Rogers to Pring. Another goal would settle us down a little bit. Pring. Della Basharu. Della Basharu looks for Williams on the edge of the area. Viner. Just wide again. That's a couple of uh, attempts that Vino has had. And, uh, well, sorry, I clicked on the wrong bit there just as we hit the half time and I wasn't expecting it. So that's how it is at half time. 10 shots, four on target, 0.53 uh, on the XG, 59% possession. They've had two shots, one on target, 0.46. We need to up the number of shots on target in that second half, 41% uh, possession. So we are on top, but. Uh, as we well know, they can come back in due course. Right. We need this win to secure uh, both the points and the number of wins uh, records. And the second half is underway. No changes at half time. And we still have that one goal lead. We've gone past the hour mark. No highlights so far in the second half. Nelson heads it down, but it's straight into the past path of Galvin, who comes forward. He's run down that wing, but cut out by Della Bacheru. Williams gets it forward for Rogers, but it's a little bit too hard. Goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. Who launches one forward? Oh, and the Mr. Pro is in. Uh, we've done it again. Eighth goal of the season. And we keep getting caught out by this route one. Phillips this time missing the header. Uh, 
done is check this. Um, Do question in FM. It'd be interesting to see what FM uh, 23 does, but uh, I do question my uh, my assistant's not doing the updates to this, which is really annoying. And you would hope that they would. Crossed in deep. Williams will get there. No, he won't. Yes, he will. He's got their Delhi Basharu. Green. Green turns. The ball's come through to Katie Gordon. Katie Gordon. Poor shot in the end, fires it straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Looked odds on when Katie Gordon was uh, free there. Lovely pass by uh, Green. Odds on that Katie Gordon was going to convert that. 70 minutes gone. I think we're ready to make some changes. Gordon is fouled by Flynn. And we have a free kick. Freeman with the free kick. He has scored from here, but he's not scoring this time. That one's gone wayward. Right. Morgan Rogers is tired. And we're going to bring Saka Jana on for him. Katie Gordon isn't performing on the other wing either. And I think it's going to be Young Coombs on for him. We'll just do those changes for the moment. Point a finger, go out there and do it. Make a difference. Make me proud. See some extra work on these wings. The draw really isn't what we want as we go past the 80 minute mark. They have a throw in. We could even lose this game, I guess. As I say, we do have a poor record against Swansea. The only time we've beaten them was in the last match, seven side derby. We did win that ball. Viner won it, but give it away straight away. It was almost like he was. Uh, not expecting to win it. Phillips wins the ball, though. Williams over the top. Green is there. Green puts it away. No, he doesn't. It's the defender gets back. Looked almost like Green was going to cipher that in the back of the net. Got around the goalkeeper. Uh, but the defender getting in to make a last-ditch save. As 80-odd uh, minutes comes, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this. And it's going to end up a draw. We don't get the wins, the amount of wins, which is a bit of a shame. So the running has been poor. 24 shots, 7 on target, 2.58. Against their 3 shots, 2 on target, 1.12. A game, once again, sorry of our, well, not our, of our season, but of parts of our season where we, we really on top in a game but just can't put them away. Very, very disappointing. Hmm. Don't think Schneller had the best of games either. Maybe we should have left Bentley in situ. So as the team do a lap of honour, we finish with a hundred points, four points clear of Nottingham Forest. Which does that mean? No, they beat Stoke two goals to nil. Four points clear of them. West Brom finished in uh, third on eighty-eight points. Uh, West Brom. Ended up a 2-2 draw against Cardiff. 2-2. Um, then came Millwall, Bournemouth and Norwich. So West Brom will play Norwich. Millwall will play Bournemouth. Norwich, of course, top of the table for a long, long time. Middlesbrough are just missing out in seventh place. Relegated from the championship down into League One. Sunderland, Rochdale and Stoke going down. Um, and uh, ourselves and Nottingham Forest in the Premier League next season. And who will join us? The playoffs will tell. We'll come back in the next episode and find out. Right. One more thing to do is uh, just to tell you that we will come back uh, with our final episode, which will be a roundup of all that's happened in our time here at Bristol City, including the last season and the uh, promotion to the Premier League. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Sorry it's a bit long, but uh, I'm sure you will uh, understand it was good to see all the games and certainly the games that won us the championship. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. You need to do it so that you know what's going on with FM23 because 
as I say, as I record this, there's every chance that by the time you see this video, it's already out and the episodes are already out. So don't miss it. Um, we will keep you in touch with all the new series as they are released. One more episode of uh, To Be A Legend will be released tomorrow, Sunday at 11 a.m. It'll be the roundup, the end of season review, etc., etc. If you want to keep up to date with what else is happening on this channel, all the FM23 stuff as well, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for that next episode, episode 23, out tomorrow, 11 o'clock. Until then, it's a very goodbye. <laughs>